Wrestling fans, welcome to World League Wrestling Showdown here at the Race Wrestling Arena. I'm Sarge Phillips, alongside my broadcast partner, Martin Kadich. That's right, and tonight we have some great action for you. Six-man tag team action. Silas Mason versus Raheem De La Suede. Get ready, folks, and strap in. This function, as we know, been together for two years, but tonight is the first time that all three members will compete together Brandon Espinoza, Kyle Roberts, and the Iron Bear, Tom Coffey. That's right, and you see Austin Mulatalo, he's put up a coalition of friends here that he's earned respect with, with Jack Parker Jr. and Mason St. Good, and they're looking to, looking to kind of run dysfunction out of World League. Well, as you said, Austin Mulatalo with his two tag team partners, that respect, but over the last couple of events, both Austin and Jack Parker are involved in matches together, earning that respect from big, big Jack Parker. And then also Mason St. Good's no stranger to Austin Moritalo as well. That's right, but they have a tall order against them as you see Brandon Espinosa right there waiting for this match to start. And Austin's ready to get it on too. They're starting to circle each other here now, you know, Brandon Espinosa wants to dictate the pace of this match. And, and you see him, he's taking a, little, taking a little bit of an exception to a World League Wrestling sign outside the ring. Austin Militalo saying that no matter what Brandon Espinosa does, this, was, this will always be World League Wrestling. That's right, he's standing there, he's defending the name of the company from a group of people who's literally over the past two years tried to tear this company down. And as we always see, Espinosa trying to get his opponent to join them, but Molitalo has none of it, and here we go with the action right here, right now. And some, some great arm drags there as, as Espinosa just closes in and wraps around him, trying to slow the pace down, but Austin having none of it. Oh, and a, just a knee right up into the gut there. Espinosa taking control. Sunset flip from Austin Molitalo. Oh, and a missed kick from Espinosa. Right back into a pinning combination. Espinosa able to get out. Right, he, he's in a lot of trouble here as Austin goes for the cover. Now I tell you what, he is putting it to Espinosa right now. And you can see, twisting that arm up. He needs to go and make that tag, and he does. Mason St. Good into the ring. And he does tag goods, and now we're gonna get a double team here. Both men back elbows. Crashes Brandon down to the mat. One, just a one count. That's right, and you can see Kyle Roberts in the background. They're always ready to help out his leader there. Getting ready to come through the ropes to break up that pin attempt. And Espinosa trying to trying to get in there, but Mason St. Good comes around with the big shoulder block and just takes him to the mat. Off the ropes again. Kyle Roberts trying to interfere again in a big drop kick, Sarge. I don't know, it looks like these guys got it going good against Dysfunction right now. They have a chance to win this match. Got a two count out of that last pinning combination. Mason St. Goods now picking his opponent up. Oh, but a thrust to the throat. It stops everything and he tags in the Iron Bear. That's right, Espinosa never shy to take a shortcut in the ring and that's what he did right there and just, just leaving Mason St. Good exposed for the Iron Bear here. And Big, big Tom Coffey looks like he's calling out Big Jack Parker. Before this match, I thought, what would happen if the Iron Bear and Parker got together in that ring? And we are gonna see it now. That's right, folks, you're about to find out. I'm telling you, you don't need chairs when stuff like this happens in the middle of this ring. These two big men about to go toe to toe and the fans are feeling it. You can see the men on the outside of the ring and there's a big shove from Jack Parker. He's ready to go. Parker making the first move, but Iron Bear coming back with that elbow forearm shot. But now both men just teeing off on one another. That's right, they're, they're trading it shot for shot and neither one of them just backing up an inch here. 
And there it is, folks, just a brawl in the center of the ring. And they, they just go to town punching each other here. And you can see it wearing both of them. Oh, they're both down to the mat. And Tom Coffey trying to get back up. He looked, oh no, Jack Parker's got him. Got He's him got him. Fireman's carry, Martin. And oh, we've got a, a blind tag from Brandon Espinosa. Jack Parker, oh, square punch right in the face. I tell you, he, he's picked his shot there as, as they got close, and now Dysfunction back in control, Sarge. He's, they're, they're trying, oh, Jack Parker with the big double suplex there. And I'm gonna tell you what, he is strong, but I didn't think he was that strong. And Parker are in complete control now with that arm bar on, Kerry, on Kyle Roberts. Tagging in Mason St. Goods now. Mason St. Good in control right now, coming across the ring with the big splash. And taking Kyle Roberts back across the side there. And he's looking to do some damage here. He's charging in with a big forearm right there in the corner. Oh, clothesline from the Iron Bear. This action continues right after this. Jim Trey Chevrolet and O'Fallon Troy in Union, Missouri are committed to giving you the best selection of new and pre- And the action continues in the six-man tag action. Oh, but Mason able to get out of the way from that clothesline from the Iron Bear. You can see the Iron Bear got the tag into Espinosa there. And Austin is on fire right now with a big spinning neck breaker and a tip up. And I'm gonna tell you what, the fans are feeling it and he's feeling, oh no, the Iron Bear. This is the problem. Whenever you start getting the edge on dysfunction, they've always got someone else in the wings to cut you down and stop you. And Austin now feeling some of the results of that as Kyle Roberts stomping him into the mat there. They've been able to cut this ring in half, Martin, and it doesn't matter who's in the ring with Austin at the moment, they keep, the, keep him on that side so they can keep in control, but Austin trying to fight out desperately, but yet again, a kick right to the stomach stops everything. It just crumpled him to the mat. Now Austin, he's got a hold of the hair there and taking him into the corner. He's, he's making sure Austin cannot get out of this match right now. And he's in deep water right now, Sarge. Big Jack Parker over there trying to encourage Austin. You but know he again, Brandon Espinosa choking Austin on the bottom rope as the as Roberts had the referee distracted and oh just playing right in front of the referee that's now. right he used all of that five count that he could get but they should have gave him a 20 count after all the other interference behind gordon atkins back i don't know how you're supposed to direct traffic in a situation like this i wonder how much fight is left in austin or if that was just instinct but right now austin reaching out but robert's also mocking mocking austin Mulitalo. That's right, and you can see Austin trying to fight his way away from Kyle Roberts, but Kyle's got a hold of him, takes him right back into that into that enemy territory, into the dysfunction's corner. And now, big Tom Coffey with a punch to the stomach, and Austin's in the corner, but I don't think he can stand. Looks like he's holding him up. That's why I was saying I wondered how much fight was left in him, but oh, the Iron Bear, just a big smash, splash right in the corner again. And now Espinosa just putting the boots to Austin in the corner, and he's in deep trouble, and they tag out, and they're going to continue. Wrestling fans, get your tickets at HarleyRace.com right now for the next live event, May the 4th at the Race Wrestling Arena, and Tom Coffey back in and putting the boots again to the chest of Molitalo. Now, Tom Coffey, Espinosa with the tag to Kyle Roberts. And we're going to get all three members of Dysfunction just beating the stuffing out of Austin here with a big drop kick into the corner. And I think that's, I think he could put a fork in Austin right here. He's, he's got to be done. Oh, but again, instincts. Instincts making him lift that left shoulder of his. Well, he is just not willing to let Dysfunction beat him tonight, and he's showing it right here as he 
fights his way back to his feet in the corner, but Espinoza, oh, a big boot to the face. Austin's got a shot here. Kyle misses, misses the splash, and Jack Parker's tagged in. He has made that tag, and now, oh, oh, Parker just running through all of them. And a huge clothesline to both Espinoza and Roberts. Another clothesline into Espinoza and Roberts. Again, he's, he's, got a, he's got dysfunction on the run here, and there he goes. He's got Tom Coffey up. Oh, he, he does. Up in that fireman's carry. Oh, and a drive over. One, two. Oh, but the save by Robert stops it. It really looked like we were going to get to see Jack Parker lead this team to victory here. As he throws Kyle Roberts out of the out of the mix into the floor here. But Espinoza right. Oh, Espinoza coming in and hitting Parker from the back, but Parker not even budging. And I'm pretty sure Espinoza made a big mistake with that spinning uppercut from Jack Parker and a tag to Mason St. Good. And a big flying knee, and he goes for the cover. One, two, oh, oh, big, big knee from big back Jack Parker. A good night knee, why did he do that? The, the match was won. And he, he took Austin out there too, and, and Jack Parker's betrayed World League Wrestling. He's betrayed his team, why would he do this? As you hear Ben Simon announcing, there was a three count, Espinoza getting the win. But again, why? Why, Parker, why? I think Austin is asking the same question in the corner right now as Jack Parker standing, facing dysfunction. I don't... Oh, wait a minute, Austin turning Parker around. You heard it, he said he trusted him, Sarge, and now... Pushed him backwards right into the bear and drove him down back first. Oh, they're lining him up! Oh, my good Lord, have mercy! They all three connected to the head es of Austin Mulitalo. Espinosa's going into the bag here. Looks like he's got something... Well, that looks like another dysfunction jacket right there. Could we be seeing time? Could we be seeing? I yes, can't we believe are. We this. We just saw Big Jack Parker join dysfunction. That's why. That's why he did it. This can only mean bad things for World League Wrestling with this kind of power on their side. Raheem versus Mason, and it's next. Get in the ring with us, it is over before it started. Honestly, it was it was pretty intense. Heart. Indispensable. Hard work. Challenging. Ready. This is the Harley Race Wrestling Academy. Fans, World League Wrestling Zone, homegrown Raheem De La Suede in the ring and about to take on the former NWA National Heavyweight Champion, Thrill Billy Ma Silas Mason. And I'm going to tell you what, the size difference is palpable here. Silas Mason, much larger than Raheem. He cornered me in the back, told me he was the largest man in the world. He told me he was the most famous man in Hollywood and made me promise to say this before he let me leave. But right now he's, he's circling with Raheem and it doesn't look like he's really got much respect for Raheem as he's kind of turning his game on him. He's also not very kind as well, Martin. That's right, he's sitting there. Usually Raheem De La Suede is the guy who's kind of taking the match lightly, but Silas here, he's just talking to the fans. I'm, I'm pretty sure that he feels being a former 
NWA champion that he is above Raheem, and I know Raheem wants to change that opinion right here, right now. But with Raheem, he's also a former champion in his own right here at World League Wrestling. That's right. But again, Silas Mason showing the strength that he believes he has over Raheem De La Sway. I'm going to tell you, Raheem didn't look too impressed with the with the showboating of Silas here, and they're getting ready to they're getting ready to get into this match. I think they're feel, there. You go. <laughs> look at look at Raheem just trying to blow himself up. That's right, Raheem showing him he can look like a big overpowered guy too if he wants to. But right now he's looking like he's getting overpowered as he goes right into right to the outside on that strength test. He's gonna have to use his speed and agility more in this match if he wants to get the win over Mason. That's right, he wants to outpace him, but I'm gonna tell you what, if you think you got it in you, if you think you could get in the ring and mix it up with these big, strong men, go to HarleyRace.com, try to schedule yourself a, a tryout at World League Wrestling and see what you can do. And here we go, Raheem trying to get the leverage, but. Again, Mason with that strength. Oh, drop kick right to the face. I'll tell you that was well timed, and he's calling him on. He wants to. He wants to. He wants to pull Sil Silas Young in, and he did right over into the top. And now a little showboating from Raheem, which he's more comfortable doing. And that's what we're used to seeing from Raheem. It looks like he's lining him up there too, as you see. Silas changing, moving back and forth, jaw jacking with the fans, and he's gonna go back in there like a ball of fire. Down and under from Raheem. Oh, and he caught him. He caught him with that Enziguri kick. And now here he comes again on a high knee, and that'll send Mason down to the concrete floor here at the arena. That's right, and he's got him targeted. And here he comes, bombs away. Raheem threw the ropes onto him, and Right back into the ring. Looks like he's going for some more. He knows he's got to put it all into him. He's got to put all of his weight into Silas Young and take him down as fast as he can. And here he comes again. He's going to go through. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe gone to the well one too many times. Mason caught him. Oh, back right into that pole. That sturdy, hard pole that does not give an inch, Martin. That's right, and just another testament to Silas Young's power and his, he's just manhandling Raheem outside the ring there. Looked like he broke his back on that post there and just continuing with a big chop. And Raheem outside in trouble right now. And fans, more of this World League Wrestling versus the National Wrestling Alliance right after this. you want a unique way to raise money for your local community? Harley Race's World League Wrestling is here to help. There is absolutely nothing better than a professional wrestling event bringing the entire community together as one and showing support when it is needed the most. We have been sponsoring fundraising events for many years and we know that it can bring a lot of winning opportunities for your local charities, school organizations, non-for-profit groups, and whatever else may be in need of assistance. For more information, contact us. Don't wait. Go to www.harleyrace.com, email us, or call us to get information or to schedule a WLW professional wrestling fundraising event in your community right now. And we're back with World League Wrestling versus National Wrestling Alliance. And you can see Silas Mason just ripping the whole thing. Raheem De La Suede straight off of the top rope. But now he's trying to roll him up. But I just think he's too big of a man to be. But he's not able to get the elbow drop either, Sarge. Again, using that speed and that agility Raheem is known for in this matchup that we were talking about earlier that he's got to use. Oh, but he went for a kick that time and Mason catching him. Ow! And that power is just so hard to overcome. I can't believe he's going for a pin. Just a two count. 
Just a two count, Raheem able to kick out and fans, if you wanna be just like everyone else here at the Race Wrestling Arena, get your tickets right now at harleyrace.com. For the next live event is May the 4th, and again, Mason just manhandling Raheem. That's right, and if you want to be there, then you want to be here next week when we have NWA versus WLW again in tag team action with the ladies, Skylar Sparks and Tootie Lynn versus Pretty Empowered with Aaron Stevens in their corner. And also, the World League Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as the Deliverer Moses defends against the son of a legend, Ricky Morton, Terry Morton. That's right, and that's going to be a barn burner, but right now we've got the whole thing. Raheem De La Slade trying to mount some offense here with a big kick, dropping a punch, and Silas Mason looks like he might be in a little bit of trouble here. Raheem firing up. Going to go into that corner, and here he comes, charging in, and he'll connect with that shoulder. And he's got to keep it up. You see him, he's got a hand on that back from earlier on. He's, he's still feeling that pain from earlier as Silas Mason has just been punishing Raheem. Oh, and a nice zigzag there, and he's still got him in trouble. He's gonna get this moonsault. Oh, and he connects Martin into a cover. Oh, but not even a one count. Silas Mason, the thrill belly, just powers right out of it. He, he kicked out of that like he hadn't even had anything done to him, and here he comes. Oh, he oh my. turned him inside out with that clothesline. And I think Raheem's shoes are in the third row right now with how hard he hit him. This could be over right here, right now. It's all academic now. All he's got to do is turn around and cover him. That's it. And you can see Swade trying to roll over, Ten trying to left. get his Ten way back down. to his feet to a fighting stance, but no! Oh, and just drills him into the mat with that power bomb. It's gotta be over now, and he does cover one, two, three. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Martin, he got that shoulder up just at the last split second. I can't believe that match was over. He almost put it, put Raheem De La Suede through the mat. And you see him giving Gordon Atkins all kinds of trouble over this, all kinds of grief as, as he's taking the tape off of his hands. He, he's, he's taking this very seriously now. I think he wants to hurt Raheem. Not happy, Mason. Oh, a hard slap across the back. Showing no quarter whatsoever. And Raheem standing right back up in his face after that chop. It's almost like he woke him up, but Raheem in the corner in trouble. And Silas just, just lifting him up like a paperweight to the top rope. And now the question is, what's he got in, in store? Raheem fighting back though. And he's got to fight for his life here because this could be the end of the match if he doesn't get Silas Young backed off here as he just goes to Fist City on him at the top. And boy, this is some dangerous stuff they're getting ready to do. He rolls out to a power bomb. Well, he connected it. He won two. Oh, but Mason, Mason kicking out. I'm telling you, he got a two count there. He is wearing Silas, the former NWA champion, down right now as. As he, as he seems to be gaining momentum and he's going up top, this can only mean trouble. The heavyweight champion getting to, or the national heavyweight champion former getting to his feet and again, causing havoc to Raheem by knocking into those ropes. That's right, falling into them ropes was the easiest way to stop Raheem from coming off that top rope and inflicting pain. And right now he's in charge again with that rip cord. Oh he's no. spinning him around. Oh no. And that's gonna mess up Raheem's equilibrium. He's not gonna know where he is. Side slam right down into the middle of the map. One, two, three, and it's over. I am impressed by just how strong Silas Mason is here. And, and just the fortitude of Raheem De La Suede to stay in the fight as long as he did. He fought as long and hard as he could. Terry Martin in. Part of the Southern Six from the NWA, enjoying the win that Mason just handled. And we'll see you fans next week here on Showdown.